How's it going, Jeremiah? If you are an expiring music producer and you want to start to dabble in your desktop music production or using software instruments as well as a DAW on your laptop to make beats and contemporary music as well as looping, I've got the perfect $50 MIDI keyboard controller for you. The thing about someone who is just starting out is you really don't want to spend way too much on your first MIDI keyboard controller. And that is because you do not know when you might just lose interest and the expensive couple of hundred dollars MIDI controller just becomes a white elephant in your house. This 50 US dollars MIDI controller has pretty much almost everything you will need to get you started from the keys to the pads for drumming as well as knob sliders and a couple of nifty keyboard controller features found on this part of the controller. Let's take a listen to what some bedroom music producers have done with this 50 US dollars keyboard controller and a mobile app like FL Studios Mobile or Cubases or even Band Labs. Don't forget that you can find the links to this keyboard controller as well as the latest pricing in the description below. Let's see what you get for US $50. This is powered by just a single uh, USB cable. You don't need any form of batteries. It will be powered from whichever device you are plugged into. Firstly, we get eight trigger pads here which are touch sensitive and you can assign it to Anything you want, whether it's drums or notes or CC events, you can use it to uh, press play or to stop or loop if you're doing a live loop. All right, let me load some samples and I can show you what we can do with this MIDI controller over here. So right now, I'm loading a drum kit. Now we can trigger the drums using this pad. You also get these assignable knobs that you can assign to any CC messages you want. Now, what can we do with the knobs here? Let's say I want this knob here, the first knob to control the balance between sample A and sample B. What I do is right mouse click on this button here, learn MIDI CC and I twist the knobs. And now you can see I can Jay, basically control that parameter just by turning this knob here. I can also assign that to the cutoff as well, to the next one, to the next knob. And these sliders also, you can assign it to any parameter in your software instrument or your DAW. I can also assign envelope to a slider here. Right mouse click, learn MIDI CC, shift this, you can see that's shifting along. So you get 25 mini keys which are touch sensitive and you can also specify the velocity on these keys as well. In addition, if you have a look at this button over here, which is CC mode, if you trigger the CC mode, these keys can work like your trigger pads and to trigger any event or any uh, CC message using these keys found on this controller. Although there isn't a modulation wheel or a modulation strip, there is a button here which triggers modulation and you can configure pretty much most of the parameters of every single knob and pad as well as key on here with a configuration software that you can actually download and install on your computer. So this bank button allows you to store up to four different scenes on your controller. So what is a scene? A scene is basically a preset of what has already been pre-programmed into 
each and every different uh, knobs, sliders, pads, as well as the keys. So this will allow you to very quickly switch between songs or have more than uh, eight pads if you need to, because just by using the different scenes here or a different bank, you can have up to eight times four in order to play these trigger pads. On top of that, you can also trigger a program change using this program button. And instead of a pitch band wheel, you have this pitch up and down buttons here. Of course, I would prefer to have a pitch band wheel, but for this size, this is literally smaller than my keyboard. If you look at my computer keyboard, this is way smaller than that. And that is a compromise you have to make. And how much uh, this can pitch up or down really can be configured using the software that you can download. So you may think that 25 keys is too little, but it isn't necessarily the case because you can actually move up and down the octave using these left and right button as well. So if I want it in a lower octave, you can hear it's lower. Lower still. If you want more information as well as the most updated pricing, you can check out the links in the description below. Now I'm going to show you how you can use this to play uh, this Yang Qing instrument, this Chinese instrument, which you can download for free in the description below. Don't forget, I have links in the description if you want to check out more information about this keyboard controller as well as the current pricing for this. My name is Jeremy C and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.